So in this short film, we're going to look at how we use a scrambling guidebook to find a scramble that we want to go and do uh, here in Snowdonia. So this book is uh, a guide to 50 of the best mountain scrambles in Snowdonia. There's several books available on the market at the moment. This is one of my favourite. And a scrambling guidebook typically lists the best scrambles in a, in a given region and it will give them grades. So scrambles are graded from grade one to three. For us, we want to be looking at grade one ground. Grade two and three typically is ground that it will involve the use of ropes. So grade one ground, um, it'll give a selection of the best scrambles in that area. It'll give you a summary um, of the scramble itself. So if I choose the North Ridge of Triven, it tells us it's a total classic. And if you're only going to do one scramble in North Wales, this is probably the one. It'll tell you where to park, um, and in this book it'll give you a grid reference, and it'll tell you how far you have to walk before the scrambling starts. So on this particular route we'd be looking at a 20 minute walk before the scrambling started. And then it'll give you a, a brief description of the route itself. This route is um, sort of 900 metres of scrambling, and the description is, is six to eight sentences long. So it's not a blow by blow account of how you're going to follow this particular route. Essentially it's telling us the lower part of the ridge is quite broad and offers a number of possible route choices. You reach a vantage point and head on up. Um, the, the early stages of the route you can go anywhere over steep steps of rock interspersed by well-worn tracks. The best scramble is found by sticking close to the crest of the ridge or by venturing far over onto the right flank. Um, if in doubt or in poor visibility, just follow any well-used line. All paths lead to Rome. So these guidebooks will be giving you quite a lot of scope to have a bit of common sense on the ground, I suppose. So part of what you need to be able to do on grade one scrambling ground is to develop an eye for a line and be able to pick and follow a route. That's introduction to guidebooks for grade one scrambling ground. Thank <laughs> you.